Hello, this is Alex Kazmark for TheFXEdge.com, and this is your free daily Forex video for September 10th, 2009. One reminder before I begin, the purpose of this free daily video is education and not an alert service. I'm not going to make any trade recommendations, but what I am going to do is point out levels of support and resistance for the next 12 to 24 hours. Please keep in mind that trading with leverage is very risky, so please don't trade any real money until you've established a proven track record of success on a demo account. Trading conditions are always changing, so make sure to watch tomorrow's video to stay updated. Well, everybody, another strong day for the majors against the dollar yesterday. I'm still hearing a lot of market analysts give reason for a possible dollar rally uh, before the end of the year. However, it is difficult to imagine such a rally uh, following the recent breakouts that we've seen. Uh, but perhaps the real question now becomes, how much higher can the majors go? The point I'd like to make here is, Two years ago, Europe was crying when the euro was heading higher from the 120s into the 30s, 40s, 50s, and touching at the 160 level. Now, this was uh, during strong economic conditions when interest rates were rising. And now that we're at the 145 level, we have to look and compare the economic environment that we were in back then uh, and the one that we're in now. Now that we're at the 145s, with interest rates so low, um, recovery on the edge, uh, we don't know if this is going to be a L recovery or V-shaped recovery. Uh, no one really knows if we're going to perhaps go uh, somehow form a double bottom on the equity markets. Uh, the question here becomes, what is the difference between then and now? And a lot of people are making the case that the euro is overvalued uh, at the 145 level. So perhaps we may go higher towards the 150 during the month of September, but people are making a case for the dollar to rally uh, into the 2010, perhaps even before that, uh, towards the end of 2009. Um, that's what we may be able to focus on over the next few weeks, um, closing into the 2009 year. Until then, uh, we're going to have to focus uh, on the market day by day, and now we're going to cover the ranges. Uh, looking at the euro dollar on the daily, currently trading at 145.60. First level of resistance is now at 146 even. Above 146, we have 146.80 and 147.12. Above that, we have 147.75. These are going back well into 2008, uh, so uh, these are going to be very interesting territories once we start going higher. Da Euro is going to find support at 145.33, which was the prior day's high. Below that, we're going to see 144.50, which was a major level of resistance before. Now an area of support for the Euro. Below 144.50, we have 144.03, which is the 144 level, 143.50, and 143. Looking at pound dollar on the daily, currently trading at 160. 540. We're going to see resistance for the pound at 166 and 166.25. Above 166.25, we're going to see 167.10, 167.80. First area of support for the pound is going to be found at 164.20, followed by 163.80, 63.20, 62.80, and 62.30. Pound has uh, been able to make a, quite a recovery over the last few days following in the steps of the euro. We had quite a bit of resistance at the 166 level uh, during the month of August. So perhaps uh, the 166 level may now uh, pose a significant level of resistance for the pound. We'll have to see how the market reacts towards these levels. Uh, above the 166.23, of course, we have the 167.10. So once again, the first area of support is going to be found on 164.20, 63.80, 63.20, 62.80, and 62.34. This 65.40 area we had as an area of resistance before. We had this as an area of support. Uh, now this is exactly where the market is trading, so disregard this red line. Looking at dollar yen, currently trading at 92.04. First level of resistance for the dollar is going to be found at 91.80, followed by 91.60. Excuse me, first area of support um, is going to be found at 91.80, followed by 91.60. Third area of support is going to be found at 
Above that, we have 89.80 and 88.57. First area of resistance for the dollar is going to be found at 92.80, followed by 93.27, 93.80, 94.50, and 95 even. Uh, do dollar yen hasn't really correlated to the equity markets as we've seen the equity markets uh, continue to go higher. Uh, perhaps the reason why we haven't seen the dollar rally here as the markets continue to go up is because uh, the markets, uh, on the, excuse me, the equity markets are very are having a very difficult time heading higher above the 9500 level. Although they are, they're moving quite slowly, closing the day at 9547 yesterday on the Dow. Our uh, first area of resistance is going to be found in 92.80, followed by 93.27, 93.80, 94.50, and 94.50. And to recap, areas of support for the dollar, 91.80, 91.60, 90.90, and 89.80. And below that, we have 88.57. Finally, we're going to take a look at the dollar Swissy. Swissy enjoying a nice rally below the 104 figure. Now trading at 104.05. Not much uh, levels of, uh, of uh, support for the dollar. We haven't uh, seen anything below this uh, 103.60 level. So 103.64 is very crucial at this point. Uh, really don't have anything here. This is going to be very interesting, interesting to see if we break below the 103.60 level, how low the market will go. Be very careful trading this pair as it's uh, breaking records. Now trading at 104.04. First level of resistance is going to be found at 104.30, followed by 104.70, 105.27, 105.50, and 105.80. Again, be very careful trading below this 103.60 figure. I would really let this uh, drop until market stabilizes in order to make any uh, sort of uh, anticipation play uh, on the dollar Swissy. If you'd like a more detailed analysis with potential trade opportunities, please join us in the members section. This has been Alex Kazmark for the FXEdge.com free daily Forex video for September 10th, 2009. Until tomorrow, good luck trading.